Hi, it's Gerard here. Welcome to Learn Delphi. We are busy exploring conditional logic with if statements. We already started this application that predicts the weather. The user must select two values from two different combo boxes and click the predict weather button. Depending on those selections, our program must make decisions how to display the weather in this panel. If you are new here, let me quickly explain what the mode and the colors mean. This is the Berkeley building in Boston. On the top of the Berkeley building is a weather beacon. The light of the beacon predicts the weather using two conditions, a mode and a color. The light has two modes, steady and flashing, and it has two colors, blue and red. So a combination of the light's mode and color predicts the weather. Its prediction inspired the poem that goes like this, steady blue, clear view, flashing blue, clouds dew, steady red, rain ahead, flashing red, snow instead. Our application also uses this poem to display the weather. We want to select a mode, steady or flashing, and a color, blue or red. Then the compiler must use those inputs to decide what the weather will be. Let's look at the end result. The mode combo box contains three items. A prompt that asks the user to select a mode, and the words steady and flashing. I will select steady. We also have three items in the color combo box a prompt and the colors blue and red. If we select steady for the mode and blue for the color, the output in the panel must display steady blue, clear view. The font color must be blue and the back color of the panel must be white. Remember the poem, steady blue, clear view. Flashing blue, clouds view. Steady red, rain ahead. Flashing red, snow instead. When we select steady and red, it must display steady red, rain ahead, and the font color must change to red while the panel's back color remains white. But when we select flashing blue, the panel must display flashing blue, clouds view, and it must flash by swapping the panel's background color and font color every half second. And when we select flashing red, it must display flashing red, snow instead, and the panel must flash in red and white. And when the user doesn't select a mode or a color, the panel must flash in yellow and black and display broken light. If you haven't started the project yet, go to the previous video and first get up to date. Or you can download the starter project that starts from this point. It is available for download from my Patreon page at patreon.com slash learndelphi. After downloading the project, open it in your own copy of the Delphi IDE. The newer Delphi IDEs give us some handy design time features that auto-completes our code and it also helps you to keep track of nested structures and the alignment of your code. I'm using a free version of Delphi 10.3 Community Edition that I downloaded from Embargadero's website. You can also get a free copy if it is still available on their website. I posted all the links in the description of this video, so you will find the link to the Patreon page and the link to the free Delphi download page below this video. So pause the video here and go and download it first. Then open the starter project and come back here and write the code with me. Here I have the program we worked on last time open in my Delphi IDE. If you have yours open, double click the predict weather button. This is the code we completed last time. We declared the string variable named str signal that stores the selected mode and color from the combo boxes. We first concatenate them, separated by a space. This if statement evaluates if this condition is true. In other words, if the value in the string variable is steady blue. If so, these statements will be executed to change the panel's caption and the background color and the font color. The else block will execute if the condition of the if block is false. In other words, if the value in the variable is not matching steady blue exactly as it is in the combo boxes. Let's see how it works so far. Run the application. Select steady and blue from the combo boxes. The panel displays steady blue, clear view, with blue text and the background is white. Select any other values from the combo boxes. The panel is yellow and the font is black, and the caption displays broken light. This is the result of the else block. Close the form. Now we must also write conditional logic for other conditions in the combo boxes. Put your cursor after this end statement and press enter. On the new line, type else and press enter. Type if, followed by a space. Type a bracket in front of true. Delphi adds a closing bracket after true. Have a type true with this condition. str signal equals flashing blue. 
This if statement will execute if the value in the variable matches the phrase flashing blue. Go to the next line and type begin and press enter. Delphi adds an end statement and it indents the lines between the begin and end. Between begin and end type this code. This assigns flashing blue clouds due to the caption of PNL weather. Type this code on the next line. Here we change the font color of the panel to white. Then type this code on the next line. We change the color of the panel to blue. Notice that we are just swapping the colors of the font and the background of the panel. This if block is now nested in the else block and it will only execute when this condition is met. Run the program, select steady and blue from the combo boxes and click the button. Verify that you still get the same result. Now select flashing in the mode combo box and click the button. The background color and the font color is now the inverse of the previous output and the caption changed to flashing blue clouds deal. Select any other value and we get the broken light. Close the form. Put your cursor after this in statement and press enter on the new line type else and press enter. Type if followed by a space. Type a bracket in front of true. Have a type true with this condition. STR signal equals steady red. This statement will only execute if the value in the variable matches the phrase steady red. Go to the next line and type begin and press enter. Between begin and end, type this code. This assigns steady red ran ahead to the caption of PNL weather. Type this code on the next line. Here we change the font color of the panel to red. Type this code on the next line. We change the color of the panel to white. This if block is now nested in this else block, and it will only execute when this condition is met. Run your program, select steady and blue from the combo boxes and click the button. And we get steady blue, clear view. Select flashing and blue from the combo boxes and click the button. And we get flashing blue, clouds view. Select steady and red and click the button. Look at the colors in the caption of the panel now. Now select any other option to see if the broken light still displays. Close your form. Put your cursor after this in statement and press enter. On the new line type else and press enter. Type if followed by a space. Type a bracket in front of true and over type true with this condition. STR signal equals flashing red. This if statement will only execute if the values in the variable matches the phrase flashing red. Go to the next line and type begin and press enter. Between begin and end, type this code. This assigns flashing red snow instead to the caption of PNL weather. Type this code on the next line. Here we change the font color of the panel to white. Type this code on the next line. We change the color of the panel to red. This if block is now nested in this else block and it will only execute when this condition is met. Run your program, select steady and blue from the combo boxes and click the button. Check that you still get the correct output. Select flashing and blue from the combo boxes and click the button. Check your output, select steady and red and click the button. It displays the output for steady red. Now select flashing red. The two colors swapped in the caption display flashing red, snow instead. Select one of the prompts to see if you still get a broken light. Close your form and save your project. Next time, we will add code to make the panel flash when you select flashing blue or flashing red. If you learned something today, like, subscribe and share my lessons with your friends. Thank you for watching. And like always, a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.